What's going on guys, Michael Benchmark Supply, and today we're going over entry level machine control solutions for your dozers, backhoes, skid steers, and excavators. So jumping right into it, there's really three major pieces to these systems. You have your laser, you have your machine control receiver, you have your mount, and then bonus points, you actually have your in-cab display. So let's break each one of these down. The first being the laser. Um, when you're doing machine control, by far the most popular rotary laser we see is a dual grade laser. It gives you the most flexibility and control over the grade. Um, most popular ones we've seen are the Topcon HV2S, Spectra's GL1425C, and Geomax's Zone 60 series. All these are rock solid and, you know, any great choice, but just note, dual grade laser. All right, the next piece is the machine control receiver. What's receiving that actual laser beam being admitted. And... For an entry level system, there's two premium features that you should keep an eye out for, the plumb indicator and the tilt indicator. Let's break that down. The plumb indicator is really handy for excavators. What it allows them to do is allows you to check when your arm is fully plumbed so that you can get an accurate reading every time, right? If you're a little 10 or 20 degrees off from your arm being plumbed, you're not going to get accurate readings. So that is a really big time saver and ultimately keeps your job site accurate and true, all right? Now the next feature is the tilt indicator. What this does is it lets you know when your box blade is completely level on a dozer. So just like the plumb indicator, when you're checking grade, you need to make sure that that box blade is level every time. This tilt indicator is gonna let you know when it is and ultimately this is gonna help you make sure that your job site is more accurate and true to the actual grade. So. If you have a little bit of extra room in your budget, we highly recommend getting the plumb and tilt indicator features. Um, those are typically more on the higher end models. We're talking, you know, Spectra's LR60, Topcon's LSB200, and Geomax MR360 series. Um, so let's go over the mounting now. You really have two mounting options. It's usually an L-bar bracket, which goes as on dozers. And then you have the uh, magnetic mount, which goes on excavators. And out of the two, excavators is by far easier to mount. Uh, it's a magnetic mount, and you clamp it right onto the boom, and you're ready to go. When it comes to dozers, uh, there is some fabrication work uh, that is typically required. And, you know, just keep that in mind. If you're not handy enough to weld it on, you're going to need to have someone help you out there. Um, all right, now let's go over that in-cab display, a little bonus point. Most of the guys who are serious have it, the ability to see what the machine control receiver is seeing outside, inside. Um, I know with Geomax's MR360, that comes standard with their package. Um, I will tell you this, um, with some of the newer models coming out, like Topcon's LSB200, there's no longer a hardware that comes for in-cab display. It's actually broadcasted Bluetooth wirelessly through their app. Uh, we've seen some guys push back on it, but to be honest, it actually is a cost savings on your end. It takes a little bit of adjusting to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's actually just as good as, you know, having the traditional hardware there. All right, so those are kind of the three things plus the in-cab display you should be looking out for. Now let's go over some of the recommendations and just other fun facts we've seen out there on entry-level systems. If you have a mini dozer setup, you can actually get away with a combined machine control system. These can actually be both on a machine like an excavator or actually on a grade rod for traditional grade work. So just keep that in mind. If you have a mini excavator, you could probably use something like an LSB10 from Topcon or you can use Spectra CR6 or 700. So we hope that this kind of gives you a little bit of uh, insight onto what you should be looking for entry level machine control systems. You know, if you're looking to upgrade to the 2D systems and potentially the 3D systems, those are much more involved where we have sensors installed on the machines and we connecting to GPS and satellites. Uh, but nonetheless, if you have any questions revolving machine control, give us a buzz at Benchmark and we'd be happy to get you benched in.